Welcome to Countdown 99. I'm Sean Bradley. Goji this. First of all, I want to say a huge thank you to everyone who has subscribed to the channel so far. We have hit 300 subscribers, which is uh, yeah, amazing. So thank you all very much for uh, subscribing, sharing the channel so that we get more subscribers. I guess the ne next target maybe 500 subscribers. Oh. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Great. So today we've got uh, a lot of topics to cover. Uh, there's lots of big news recently in the world of Japanese pro wrestling. Io Shirai has resigned from Stardom. Her future plans are still undecided. She hasn't confirmed with WWE yet. She has only said that she plans on going to America soon. So. I don't want to comment on any kind of speculation and say, yes, she's going to WWE, because that isn't the case. We don't know yet. For those people who don't know, Io Shirai debuted in 2007. She was on the independent scene and she was a freelancer. In 2010, she formed a kind of trio stable with her sister, Mio Shirai and also Kana, who you probably know as Asuka in WWE. They formed a triple team stable called uh, Triple Tails. Uh, we actually have a poster, I think. We won't be able to see it then. You need to come to the bar and see this poster. But there is actually a poster down here with uh, Triple Tails and it's signed by all three of the girls. In 2010, she also moved to Mexico for, uh, I think, a, a year, one year, two years? where she obviously studied the kind of luchador style and donned a special kind of luchador mask as well uh, for a short time. And then finally in 2011, she signed with Stardom and went on to become their first ever Grand Slam champion, winning all of the titles in Stardom and also winning the Stardom Five Star Grand Prix. So she's the first ever Grand Slam champion. And as far as I'm aware, she's the only Grand Slam champion. So that brings us up to date to 2018, where she has since now announced that she's resigned from stardom and uh, whatever her future plans may be. Now about two weeks ago, three weeks ago, at the bar here we had uh, an event for Io Shirai. Koji, how was the uh, Io Shirai event? ま、対談の話は実際出なかったんですけども、ま、今後の目標であったり、ま、ビジョンについて、ま、話をしていただきました。え、ま、その中で という印象も感じました。え、イオ選手はまあ去年まあ、so at, at the event as well, uh, once all of the customers had kind of left the bar, uh, myself and Koji had uh, like a short time with uh, Io and we could kind of chat to her. And I was able to ask her some of the questions uh, that you guys had sent to me on Twitter. Now, obviously there are some things that she couldn't talk about, so I had to be really selective about which questions I asked her. But one of the questions was, how has her wrestling changed? She said that almost all of her moves were completely different from when she debuted, and that the only thing that was the same now was her signature moonsault on the top, which is, if you haven't seen it, it's probably maybe the best moonsault in the world. Mm, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We asked her when she plans on going back to the UK. She said she doesn't know when, but she wants to go back to the UK at some point. We asked her when is she going to America, and she said soon. So that was a kind of hint. This was the day before she announced that she was leaving stardom. We asked her about her thoughts on her trainees, such as Azumi, uh, Starlight Kid, and Momo. And she said that, I hope that they bring happiness to stardom and even more happiness to Stardom fans. And in her last match in Osaka, she actually had a one-on-one -on -one fight with Starlight Kid. And there was a very kind of iconic moment uh, where Starlight Kid and Io after the match, they kind of shook hands. And it was almost like Io was kind of saying, this is your future now, I'm leaving, kind of thing, which was really nice, a nice touch. 
Someone on Twitter actually made a picture of one of the photos that I took at the event. We also asked her what her dream match would be as well. And she said Charlotte Flair, which is quite interesting. Again, she hasn't confirmed that she's going to WWE yet, but there's kind of signs here that are kind of pointing to WWE, so we shall see. The other big news in the world of pro wrestling in Japan uh, this week was obviously New Japan Pro Wrestling Dominion. Now, when Dominion was announced, there were a lot of big matches, uh, so everyone was very excited, and it sold out. Yeah. Koji, yeah. how many tickets did you have at the bar? Uh, well, 150. Yeah, okay, so about 150 tickets. And how, how fast did uh, uh Yeah, 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 yeah. Two weeks. <laughs> so in two weeks, he sold through 150 tickets, which is kind of crazy. That shows you how popular this event was in, in Osaka. So, Koji, what were your thoughts uh, before watching Dominion? まあ、カードがいいカードそろってましたからね。うん。で、やっぱりプロレスまあ、日本以外でもね、含めて大阪ではうん、なので、まあ、注目度はすごく高かったですし、まあ、カードも本当なしだったので、まあ、楽しみし
おととし去年ちょっと負けちゃってるんでねないとここで今年はもう勝ってほしいぜひ勝ってほしいでアポンの合唱したい<笑>です内藤は勝ってほしいけどこんな過去なんでだけどジェイコが勝つと思うで勝ったら G1 とか出てくれるんじゃないなるほどチャンピオンだしまたなん,なんだかんだ言って戻ってきてくれるかもしれないんで、うんうんうんジェリコだと思います。Y2J が一番だからです。Y2J です。Y2J。Y2J です。Y2J です。Y2J ですね。いや僕もそうだと思います。理由は？あやっぱりそのあ影響力すごい。<笑>スーパースターなんで。はい。まあスーパースターですね。勝ってほしい勝ってほしい勝ってほしいかなって。世界的なスーパーサーの。個人的な希望も含めてジェリコ。理由は？単純にジェリコの試合がまだ見たいから。内藤。ここで勝ってまたロスインゴを世界的に広めるっていう。内藤に希望も含めて内藤に勝ってほしいですかね。理由はまあ内藤好きっていうのもあって、なんでまあジェリコを乗り越えて。どういうふうにまた進化していくのかみたいなあります。そうですね。ま、ちょっとジェリコ選手に勝ってほしいところはありますね。やっぱり<笑>ジェリコがここでベルトを取ったら、これから新日本に定期的に上がるってことになるじゃないですか。まあそういった期待も込めてジェリコ勝ってほしいですね。同じくジェリコですね。もうレベルが違うと思います。はい。かなそろそろだよねっていうかなんか唯一岡田さんと僕のケニーぐらいじゃないいなくないっていう感じかな私もケニーであの岡田の V13 は、えー、ケニーが止めてほしい、はい、えごめんなさい岡田さんです慶応スマンだから<笑>いやわかんないよ、ね、でも岡田さんも好きです岡田さんも好きだから,だからそうそう難しいよね、はい、いやこのままずっとまだ私はケオスマンって怒られない大丈夫叩かれないいやーケオスも大好きでーす<笑>もちろん大好きでーすケオスだけが好きです<笑>そうなの私にタグチタグチさん<笑>岡田選手に勝ってほしいですなぜやっぱりあのー、連勝記録作ってほしいからです<笑>オメガオメガオメガかな理由は、うん、3本勝負を提案してきたからやっぱりそこら辺の自信とやっぱ結構エグい技がね岡田に比べて多いからそこら辺でちょっとずつ差が広がってきて3本目でオメガが取るんじゃないかなとあとはやっぱイブシそこら辺とのねコンビがあるんでオメガに期待してますキニーかなあの岡田勝っても、うん、勝ってほしいけど、勝ってももう挑戦者いなくなっていないから、うん、ちょっともうどうしようもないから、ケニーに勝って、また新しい、ね、チャンピオンズを見せてくれればなと思って、だけど本当は岡田が勝ってほしいあの、同じ愛知県出身だから、勝ってほしいケニー、そろそろトップになってほしいかなと思います。これはもう<笑>ケニー勝つんじゃないですか去年もこの女の年、去年の試合を見に来てるんですよ。去年もすごかったんですけどね。岡田倒すとしたらもうケニーしかいないんじゃないですかね。かかすと思います。そんな気持ちです。えっ、ー、とケニー。理由は？理由はまあこう僕がプロレス見始めてからずっと岡田が王者なんで、そろそろ新しい王者を見たい,っていう。ケニー。えー、1勝1敗っていうわけっていうところで、まあ、そろそろケニーにとって、まあ、回って、外国人王者、そろそろ見たいかなっていう、もうケニーですかね、ちょっと彼と見,て見始めた時期が同じなんで、なので、やっぱり新王者、岡田以外の王者っていうのがどういうものかっていうのは、興味あります。
そろそろ取ってもらわないとケニーには、はい、もう3度目の正直という言葉がありますから、はい、いやもう岡田さん一択ですねもう余裕なんでもう試合が終わってマイクで何を喋るのかなっていう予想を今考えてるところです、はい、いい試合で本当にケニー強いなって思いました今日はね、あのベルトがね、いっぱい移動したからね、これからもう新しい時代が始まるなとも思った大会でした。大会だった。いやもうケニー大好きなんでもうベルト取る瞬間見れて最高でした。はい、もうすごかったです本当にもうすごいとしか言えないです本当にもう。The first from like third or fourth match was so short I think, but like how's like real attempt. It's a good tempo, so have it in Japanese. Like, すごいテンポが良かった So, I think like somebody who had never watched pro wrestling, I I like to say, please watch these match today's match. I can I can say to them. Good match. 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 私もメインイベントでも,うもちろん当然メインイベント<笑>理由は<笑>もう今までになかった新しいルールでそしてケニーがもう新しくチャンピオンになってくれてもう私は嬉しかった<笑>もう心臓がずっとバクバクしてて<笑>もうこっちまですごく緊張してて<笑>もう最後の幸せがありました。やっぱりもうメインを超えるものはさすがに今日はもう今日どころかちょっと今年中はもうあるのかっていうぐらいメインすごすぎましたねやっぱり。I was so nervous before the main event started, but like like well first match after first match Kenny tried to do one wing angel so much so I feel like uh, uh, today is gonna be a bad day, but when he he won I screamed and cried a lot. <laughs> Yeah, but so my makeup is going away. So, yeah, but yeah, I have been a fan of him about six years. So, I oh, this year, like this today, is a memorial match, memorial day of my entire life, I think, and I'm so proud to be as a Kenny's fan. So that's what the fans thought about Dominion. So let's find out what Koji thought about the event. So Koji, what did you think after Dominion? すごかったですね。うん。おさんね。いや、very good。まあ岡田バスケにがいつまあベストバウト。いや。え、実際いいやつ。うん。いや、いいやつ。うん。まあそれぐらいあのまあ素晴らしい試合でしたよね。え、六十分を超える試合で、まあこれは。ベストインザワールドじゃないですか。いや、いや、あれ、いや。I think it's it's easy to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. まあもちろんあの他の試合がダメなわけではなくて、まあメインイベントは今のなんていうかまあニュージャパンかなの試合で、まあセミファイナルのナイトバスジェリコはまあクラシックっていうか、まあ昔だ昔からあるスタイルなのですごくあの違いがあって、まあどちらの試合もすごく面白かったですね。Yeah, it's very close, I think. Yeah, yeah. でまあジュニアヘビー級もね今もまたジュニアヘビー級のまあハイクオリティなね、right. yeah. ハイフライな試合だったのでまあこのマスリーナッチはまあ素晴らしいでしたね、mm -hmm. 素晴らしい試合でした。Yeah, well, as Koji already said, I think the the best match was clearly Omega versus Okada.、Uh, Dave Meltzer gave it seven stars,、uh, which <laughs> I mean, for those that don't know, Dave Meltzer is a kind of renowned、uh, pro wrestling reviewer, and he usually rates his pro wrestling matches out of five stars. Last year, he gave their match at six stars, and a lot of people were kind of upset, kind of angry that he'd kind of broken this five star rule and said six stars. So this this time he completely broke his、uh, scheme and had seven stars, which should tell you that this, you know, I'm gonna say, this match was the best wrestling match I've ever seen, ever. Now that's a big <laughs> that's a big claim. I'm gonna say that's the best match I've ever seen. So that should tell you if you haven't seen it, go and watch it. On Twitter we actually had a question from、um, at Mars Jetson One. Who wants to know? With Omega and Okada Four recently happening, with Kenny Omega winning the IWGP title and Okada losing, 
what direction uh, do you see both wrestlers going for the rest of the year? Also, with Naito losing as well, uh, what do you think his plan is going to be for the rest of the year? So, Koji, what, what do you think is going to happen now? Uh, uh, ま、次のなんていうかま、ビッグチャンスになるのはま、G1クライマックスですね。はい。うん、ま、G1クライマックスウィナーはえ、レスキングダムのチャレンジャーうんになることがま、あの、このなこの数年はま、その形ができ上が
、えーまあ、そのスーパージュニアのシリーズでね、えー、しっかりと結果を出してっていうところで、まあ、日本ではすごく人気のある選手で、ねまあ、彼のアクションであったりマイクであったり、まあ、すごくタレントなのでぜひ、えー、皆さんにも見ていただきたい、えー、選手の一人なのでお勧めになりました。My wrestler for the month, I'm going to continue with the Dominion theme and I'm going to say Kenny Omega. Kenny Omega. Now, I've been a fan of Kenny Omega for maybe about six or seven years, I think.、Yeah. Uh, my first exposure to Kenny was in、uh, DDT.、Uh, in fact, he was actually with Kote Ibushi.、Uh, the first match that I watched was、uh, Kenny with Kote Ibushi in the same match. And it was so. Crazy and so ridiculous, like it was impossible not to enjoy the kind of comedy aspects of it. Over the years, he's just just grown in popularity and grown. His character has evolved and he's constantly changing. and He's absolutely amazing to watch. I, I think, out of all of the wrestling matches that I kind of rank in my kind of top 10 matches of all time, Kenny Omega like appears three or four times easily. I mean, they call him what the best bout machine. He is. <laughs> he's, he's proof of that. And he's quite clearly one of the best wrestlers in the world. Not only that, but I think Kenny is also very true to his character. A lot of other companies will try and shape your character for you, give you、uh, scripted dialogue, and say, you must act this way, this is your character. And Kenny doesn't have that problem with、uh, New Japan. New Japan lets him kind of be who he wants to be. So he's very genuine, I think, very real. He's so creative as well, obviously, with the way that Bullet Club evolved and the other directions that he's taken with Golden Lovers, for example. It just shows that he continues to grow and develop, and he's only just become the IWGP、uh, World Heavyweight Champion. So, what happens from here into the future, who knows? We'll have to wait and see. But I have no doubt we're in safe hands with Kenny at the helm. So, last month we had our giveaway, and I asked you guys just to retweet the video. So, I compiled a list of all the people that retweeted, and we chose the winner at random. And the winner of the、uh, Maho Kurone poster is. Chris Undiami. I hope I pronounced his name correctly. <laughs> so, congratulations, Chris. Well done.、Uh, I'm going to try and get that poster out to you as soon as possible. Um, so, congratulations. Unfortunately, this month we don't have a giveaway competition because I don't have anything to give away. But maybe next month I'll, I'll find something that I can give you guys. Please, if you like this video,、uh, retweet the video on Twitter, share the link on Facebook if you want to, and don't forget to subscribe and like the channel so that you will get our updates for the new videos. Special thanks to everyone who. Participated in my interviews when I was asking people at Dominion for uh, interviews. Uh, special shout out to、uh, Umi chan, who is a huge k e n y Omega fan, and I've wanted to interview her for a long time, so thank you very much. Another special mention to、uh, The Lion Marks、uh, on Twitter. They came up to us when we were handing out flyers.、Uh, they actually checked out our YouTube, and they're in Japan doing their own podcast. So if you check out their Twitter, then please check out their podcast. and Hopefully, someday we can do some kind of collaboration or something, maybe. I don't know. Obviously, as always, if you're in Osaka, if you come to Japan, please come to Count 299.、Uh, you can find all of the details in the links below. And Koji would love to talk to you guys about pro wrestling and your favorite reasons for coming to、uh, Osaka. See, See you next time. time on Count 1, 2, 3.